In this video, we're going to create our very first cloud function. We're going to deploy it and then run it and see how it works. So when you open your cloud functions in Microsoft Code Editor, you will see a functions folder which we can unfold and inside of that folder, there will be index JavaScript file. This is the main file where you write your cloud functions. And inside of this index JavaScript file, there will be one function created for you already. So I will select it and remove the comments by holding command button on my keyboard and tapping on forward slash. And here's the hello world function that we will write first. So what it does here, basically, we will need to import a module called Firebase functions so that we can use this module to invoke different useful functions. So we are importing Firebase functions and it becomes available to us as an object stored in the functions variable name. And then we export or create a new function which is called hello world. And that function will be triggered when our script receives HTTP request. We are using functions object now to define a code that will be triggered when HTTP request arrives. And this is why we use on request HTTP type function, which when it's triggered will have request and response objects available for us. And we can use request object to read HTTP parameters. So let's run this very simple example, see how it works, and then we will edit it a little bit. So I'll save my changes and I will go back to the terminal and I'm inside my cloud functions project. I'll check location. I'm inside of music app cloud functions. And from this location, I will type Firebase deploy and hit enter. When the deploy process finishes, you will be given a URL to run your function. And I will copy this URL and I will open it in a browser window. I'll switch to my Safari and start a new tab, paste it and run. And here's the response that my cloud function sent me. And I need to do this deployment process every time when I make changes to my cloud function. For example, let's make a change. Let's add a couple of more exclamation marks. So in total, we have three exclamation marks now. And I will go back to my terminal and I will deploy this application again. Now when my application is redeployed, I can go back to my browser, refresh it, and it doesn't seem to be updating. And I think this is because of some sort of caching. So if I add a request parameter here and hit enter, I get a new response. Okay, so it's working. Let's now go back to our cloud function and we will add a couple of changes and we will do it in our next video.